Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we will understand what are epics, tasks, use stories and we will also see a right format to create them. That is we will see how to create an epic, use a story, task and to deepen our understanding we will also take few examples so that it helps us to understand these things better and easily. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk about epic story tasks and subtasks. So all these serve as a foundational element in project management, each playing a distinct role in organizing and executing the project work. Let's understand the unique purpose of each, which is essential for effective project planning and execution. I will now discuss each of these component in details to get a comprehensive understanding. So what are epics? Epics are large bodies of work that can be broken down into smaller manageable pieces. Now when we subdivide the work into smaller units, we say that epic contains all the other smaller pieces of work. And hence epics serve as a high level container for related stories and provide a comprehensive view of project progress and goals. To better grasp the structure of an epic, let's see an example with the context of an e-commerce platform. So this is the epic, implementing a recommendation engine. The goal of this epic would be to develop and integrate a recommendation engine into an e-commerce platform to enhance the user experience by providing personalized product suggestions based on their searches. Typically, an epic should include the following information. Title, which is a small descriptive title. Summary, a brief description about the goal of the epic or the problem this epic aims to solve. Third, acceptance criteria. It is a set of conditions that must be met for the epic to be considered complete. The acceptance criteria helps ensure that on completion, the outcome meets the user's needs and quality standards. Priority An indication of how important the epic is relative to other epics. Priority is defined based on its value to the user or business. Estimate Which is an approximation of the effort or time required to complete the epic. Status the current progress of the epic such as not started, in progress or completed. Then stories, that is what all stories or tasks are part of this epic. Now let's look into the same example which we discussed earlier with all these information details. Okay, so we have the title as implementing a recommendation engine. Summary, this epic aims to develop and integrate a recommendation engine into an e-commerce platform to enhance the user experience and provide them suggestions based on their searches. Acceptance criteria. Example could be, the recommendation engine accurately suggests relevant products based on the user's search history and preferences. Second, personalization algorithms adapt and improve over time based on the user's interactions and feedback. Then comes priority. I have taken an example of a high priority epic. Estimate 6 months. Status in progress. The stories it might contain are as a user I want to receive personalized product recommendation based on my search history and preferences so that I find the best products. Another user story example is, as a customer support representative, I need training on how to assist users with navigating and utilizing the recommendation system effectively. Now I just gave examples of user stories, we'll talk about user stories in details to learn exactly what they are. Now let's move to the user stories. Okay, so what are user stories? A user story is an informal general explanation of a feature or a requirement from the perspective of the end user. A user story 
puts end users at the center of the conversation. User stories are written in non-technical language to provide context for the development team. That is, user story should be written such that the team understands why they are building, what they are building and what value it creates. If you want to learn more about user stories because it's an interesting topic and it's also very important to understand what user stories are no matter what role you are performing in your organization. So I have created some videos with really good content on user stories. You can find the link in the description. Please go ahead and do check them out. Now let's look into the template of user stories. User stories have a specific template or format in which they should be written. But why is that? Because user story templates help the teams to write clear and consistent description of user needs. They ensure that everyone understands who the user is, what they want and why it matters. Templates have details like user roles, desired actions and reasons for implementing this user story. This makes it easier to create stories and address the user's needs effectively. Using a template, teams can quickly capture essential information and streamline the process. So this is the template of the user story. As a persona, I want to so that where persona is for whom we are developing this user story. Want to is what we are trying to achieve. So that means the overall benefit that we will get if we implement this user story. Again, for a better understanding, let's look into an example. As a store manager, I want to receive an email for each online purchase so that I am aware of the new orders. Here, store manager is the persona. I want to receive an email is what we are trying to achieve and so that I'm aware of new orders is the benefit of getting this user story developed. Now let's also talk about what all important information should be part of user story. A user story should include this information, the small descriptive title, description, a detailed description of the desired functionality or the feature from user's perspective then acceptance and done criteria specific conditions or criteria that must be met for the user story to be considered complete and satisfactory priority an indication of how important the user story is relative to other user stories which is an approximate effort or time required to complete this user story dependencies any external factors or tasks that the user story depends on for implementation or completion. With that, let's move to the tasks. Now, what are tasks? Most of the times we need to break down user stories into detailed units to complete the functionality. Tasks basically represent the individual steps and actions required to implement a particular feature and features are represented mostly by user stories. Okay. We will now see what all necessary information we should cover in tasks. Title, which is a short description of the task that provides a clear idea of what needs to be done. Description, includes specific details that needs to be considered while performing the task. Assignee, the person responsible for completion of the task. Priority, it indicates the urgency or the importance of the task relative to other tasks status this shows the current stage of the task for example pending in progress to do completed etc due date the deadline by which the task should be completed estimate an estimation of the time or effort required to complete the task often measured in hours or days now note that estimation of tasks is not mandatory meaning some teams estimate tasks, some do not, and it is totally up to the teams depending upon their practices. 
Then comes dependencies. One must mention if this task has a dependency on some other tasks, meaning if some other tasks need to be completed before this task. Okay, cool. Let's move ahead and look into one of the examples. For the user story we discussed earlier in this video, as a store manager, I want to receive an email for each online purchase so that I am aware of the new orders. The examples of task for this particular user story could be first example is develop email notification feature where description could be implement the backend functionality to trigger an email notification whenever an online purchase is made. Assignee, market, priority, high, status, in progress, due date, we can provide a specific date, estimate, six hours. Another example would be integrate email service. Description, configure the email service provider like MailChimp to handle the outbound emails. Assignee, market, priority, medium, status, pending, due date, provide a specific date, estimate, three hours. Okay, let's also understand what are subtasks. Subtasks are smaller, more granular units of work that make up a larger task or a user story. Either task or user story can have subtasks. Subtasks generally represent specific actions or steps required to complete it. For a better understanding, again look into an example. For the task integrate email service which we just discussed, a subtask example could be to set up email server configuration. Description Configure the email server settings and credentials required for sending email notification. Assignee, market, priority, high, status, not started, due date, provide a specific date and an estimation of two hours. Okay, so that wraps up this video. I trust you found the information here helpful. In my upcoming videos, I will discuss how to create epic stories, tasks, subtasks in Jira. So stay tuned. Let's stay connected on LinkedIn and continue the conversation through YouTube's comment section. Thank you for watching and bye for now.